There's a famous story told of a man who traveled to Europe many years ago to meet a very great rabbi. And he had to travel to a small town and he gets to, finally finds the rabbi's house and this great rabbi, the greatest rabbi of the generation, opens up the door and invites him in. And the man was very startled. He saw there was hardly anything there. There was just like one chair, one table, one cot. And the rabbi said, what's wrong? He said, well, you're such a great rabbi, i just surprised, like, where's all your stuff? So the rabbi said to him, where's all your stuff? And he said, well, I'm just passing through. And the rabbi said, so am I. So there's something I heard about the other day, and you can go online and see it, that there was this guy who started this whole movement to get rid of stuff. It was called a hundred things. That you're allowed to possess just one hundred things. A fork is one. A knife, now we've got two. Got it? So when I thought about my life, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many things. How could I possibly get it down to a hundred things? So it was Friday night at the Shabbos table, and we all started talking about it. How could we do it? We started adding it up. So my son Zev said, well, you, there's this one thing you could get that has a fork, a knife, and a spoon all together. And then there's a Swiss Army knife that has scissors and clippers and everything, so you, you see how you can start putting it together. And we quickly, with basic, basic stuff, got up to about 20. But then after that, some of the stuff was kind of like, well, do I really need that? Do I need, how many pairs of shoes do I really need? I have gone into people's closets, women, and they have so many shoes, it's scary. How many do you really need? How many do you really wear? How many times have you cleaned out your closet? The thing you haven't worn in so many years, are you ever going to wear it? Why do you have this stuff? Send it out into the world. Let people who don't have things have it. Think about the hundred things. What could you possibly do and what would you get for a hundred things? So we're saying, okay, so you would have a bed and you would have a sheet and you would have a pillow and you would have a blanket. But then somebody said, well, do you really need the sheet? Oh yeah, you do need the sheet. And we were sort of negotiating and you need one towel and you know, cause you have a washer and dryer, which are two things that you could do. Oh no, 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 my, my daughter said no washer and dryer. You just go to the laundry mat. So you don't really own those things. And we were really paring it down. And surprisingly, once you got to about 50 basic things, the rest are luxury and bonus and sometimes clutter. If you're traveling through Europe and you've got your backpack, you can't even bring a hundred things. We're traveling through life. Some of the stuff we have, it's weighing us down. All the stuff, all the clutter, all the things, do we really need them? Because remember, we're just passing through. I'm Lori, almost live.